Hello, everyone. Megan. Friends turn on her now. Obviously, no one can be blamed, right? She chose her own path. It's not for nothing that among millions of people, Megan can't have any friends. If a few people turn their backs on her, it may be due to personal problems. However, if everyone turns their backs on her, the problem must be with the character of the narcissistic woman Megan. Some people may argue that it never rains, but when it comes to Meghan Markle, who was formerly a member of the royal family, it certainly does rain. That is correct since, as we are all aware, she had a significant disagreement with a former friend who might have been of great assistance to her because of the circumstances. Victoria Beckham was the one who did that, of course. As you are aware, the term that the younger generation uses is the fashionista. The wife is, of course, David Beckham, a former international player. And when you actually think about it, it was just a ridiculous rupture that escalated once again, with Prince Harry being prohibited from maintaining his friendship with David, despite the fact that they have been close for a number of years. On the other hand, the thing with vengeance is that it certainly does come around in the end, doesn't it? It's like the meal that's best served when it's still hot, if you know what I mean. After learning that they are no longer the king and queen of the streaming behemoth Netflix, Harry and Meghan are now facing the consequences of their decision. These individuals have been succeeded by a new king and queen, whose names are David and Victoria. All of this is a result of the Emmy nominations that were received for their documentary series. In addition, as I mentioned earlier, Victoria has now signed a contract for her very own program that will highlight everything that she has accomplished in her fashion empire. It is important to be completely forthright about how challenging it has been, the fact that it has not been successful, the financial losses, and other such matters. Some people believe that the financial losses might have been related to the fact that, when you think about it, she lent quite a few outfits to others in the expectation that she would gain some notoriety, including Meghan Markle. This is something that some people believe contributed to the financial losses. Where do we go from here? Permit me to expand. Yes, this is due to the fact that, as we are now aware, Meghan, Harry, David, and Victoria were friendly with one another. They went so far as to attend their wedding. And of course, you can assume that you are similar to the vast majority of individuals who were present at the wedding of Harry and Meghan, and that you are now seeing that film and thinking, I am not friends with them. In no way do we communicate with them. It is not possible to get them back. Where do we stand with the actors of Suits? I mean, none of them, well, it was a fantastic day out for them, just like it was for George Clooney. But that's about it, isn't it? None of them made it out alive. This concludes the matter as it stands. I'm curious if you guys have seen the movie Suit. Let's check in a bit. If you have, please comment number one. And it would be great if you could also express your feelings. Or vice versa, if you haven't seen it and don't intend to, please comment number two. Thank you very much, everyone. Now, this is where things start to become extremely interesting. Simply because, as we all know, Victoria has now signed this arrangement. The information that she will be addressing some of the individuals who were less than nice about her clothes, the beginning point, and of course, some of the feuds that she has really had to encounter, both true and not, has been relayed to me by a reliable source. At this point, this is the thing that sells. As I've mentioned to you previously, the only reason that the documentary series on Harry and Meghan was successful was due to the gossip element. This was the thing that people enjoyed, and they were uninterested in everything else. David and Victoria are exceptionally astute individuals. In light of the fact that David has recently been appointed as an ambassador for His Majesty the King, they are aware that they will be required to discuss this matter during their conversation. Exceptional work in establishing relationships there. Netflix, on the other hand, will desire this in the future, since they will be aware that this is the information that the general audience is interested in hearing. At this point, we have only really heard one side of the story regarding how the Sussexes claim that the Beckhams were spreading rumors about them. 
The truth is, that was not the situation. Nevertheless, they are the king and queen of Netflix today, with Victoria perhaps in their possession and a shiny new agreement coming their way. The pound of flesh that Netflix needs is theirs. Victoria has the ability to use the media to her own advantage, and if she makes any references to anything at this moment, it is just what they are looking for. There is little doubt that Netflix is rubbing its hands. To say that their relationship with Harry and Meghan is at an all-time low would be an understatement. A signing that was first considered to be a fantastic deal has now turned out to be somewhat of a tremendous bore. Moving ahead, it is necessary for them to demonstrate their worth by performing in one or two performances, assuming they ever make it to the big screen. The movie Victoria's Secret is going to be released in the very near future, but you simply cannot wait. Meghan Markle, the perfect example of how the wrong person can ruin other people's lives. Just ask Harry. Narcs are truly obsessive. They are programmed to punish and destroy anyone who gets in their way. In the narcs' minds, they are superior, and no one is permitted to get the better of them. We've seen that the herd woman still doesn't want to go quietly. I wonder if that is still boiling away. Will there be an eventual eruption of volcanic proportions? Can't say I'm bothered about Harry's security. His behavior put him in the position he is in. But I do think Johnny Depp ought to have vigilant security at all times. His nanny said Harry was born angry. His spitefulness went worldwide in the famous photo of him rudely sticking his tongue out to photographers. Spare and the Netflix wine fest revealed his long-held vitriolic jealousy of his brother and hatred of his father, stepmother, and sister-in-law. Do you think Victoria Beckham was happy with the sweaty pits and bits that were Meghan Markle? I doubt it. Besides, I think it was deliberately done too, though. I mean, she's been wearing sleeveless, backless, shoulders like mutton sleeves, so why wear full-length sleeves suddenly? David Beckham waited in line respectively for 12 hours to honor the late queen. More character than the skid marks. I hadn't admired him until then. He earned some major goodwill with his humility, respectful attitude, and laudable duty. As for Victoria, she works really, really hard. She developed her own product and believes her designs will be classic. She doesn't grift. She's never had to. And starting her business, she had setbacks. Not being a whiner, she used her head, made some changes, and went on to thrive. Her music career was stellar, and now her design house is. You can't fake it, and she never has. Plus, being a devoted wife and mother, she has charmed people and seems kind. And with it, she's responsible for her successes and hopes she enjoys them her entire lifetime. The difference between Victoria and Meghan is quite simple, really, and no comparison. Victoria thinks and does it through to the end. Megalia, on the other side, thinks and expects everyone to read her mind. I know Victoria's story will be interesting. She's done things with her life, unlike Mad Megan. Moreover, the Beckhams love their parents and their children. Victoria has created a terrific beauty line, the best eye pencil ever. Meanwhile, Megan has never shown photos of them with happy kids celebrating Xmas. No photos enjoying Xmas together. Only one time showed a photo of a big Xmas tree at the rented Montecito mansion. Harry, your kids are missing out on your English tradition. In addition, I heard that the Beckhams were only invited to the actual wedding, not to the actual reception afterward. In fact, there were many people only invited to the wedding and not the reception. Some people had traveled from the USA and were only invited to the actual wedding ceremony and nothing else. Now, why does that not surprise me? Some of Harry's life lifelong loyal friends were omitted from most of the wedding, especially Tom Inskip, who M.M. showed up in Jamaica after Harry broke up with her. That was the nail in the coffin for his friends to realize, proving she was a psycho, literally, from Harry and Meghan's wedding. She has isolated Harry from not only the friend's family who didn't like her, but from everyone. I've never seen a narcissist in real time. It's scary. Meghan's ego took over. She got too big for her boots. So got a prince and broke him. He has given up everything for her to be treated like a dog's body. 
What is worse is he let her diminish him. They were just weather celebrity friends. She's too shallow. If she loved Harry, he would still have his friends. Doubt if she allows her kids friends. David quietly, and with no fanfare, waited in line for hours to pay his respects to our late queen. That act spoke volumes about his character. What does Meghan do? Sneer? It speaks volumes about her lack of character. I really hope that David and Victoria do win an Emmy for their documentary. I really enjoyed it. Victoria and David are rocking it. You would have thought that Meghan should have seen their friendship as a great opportunity to become great friends and to learn from the Beckhams. It's painful to watch how Meghan, who has embraced the titles she was gifted by our late queen, misused them, profited, and used them to taint our country in the worst way. The soon-to-be Sir and Lady Beckham would never do such a thing and has already proved their loyalty to the king and country. When the Beckhams gain their titles, they will be going to the next coronation. Eat your heart out, Meghan. Such a contrast between two couples who have gone in exactly the opposite direction in their lives. One, Harry and Meghan, who started with everything and have managed to trash it all and make us actually not want to know anything more about them. And the Beckhams, who both started life with not much and have, by their own effort and ability, made themselves into a force, together and separately, to be reckoned with. The Beckhams deserve all the kudos. The Sussexes deserve whatever they get, which looks like it won't be much. Am I correct in my assessment? In the comments section below, please share your ideas with me. I am grateful that you checked out my video. I would be grateful if you would show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Goodbye, and I hope to see you again soon.